Hi, I'm Therese Bird. I'm the educational designer with Lester Medical School, and I'm just going to spend a few minutes sharing with you how students have been learning with iPads at the uh, pre-clinical phase. And I understand now they are moving into the clinical phase with their iPads, so this is a good chance for us all to get on the same page about how the students have been learning with the iPads. So since 2013, each um, first year group has been given an iPad. And you can see in this picture, um, the main use of the iPad is the iPad on the left. You can see that's got a little bit of the skeleton there. That's, um, it's showing one of the workbooks that the students have been issued through Blackboard. The students go onto Blackboard in, on their iPad and just download the workbook, and the workbook is in PDF format. So the student can open it in a PDF reader, and then they can take notes directly on to the image there. They can scribble if they've got a, um, a stylus or a scribble with their finger if they like, and they can, so you can handwrite, you can draw sketches, you can also um, do a text box so you can type. You can even uh, record some notes about uh, whatever it is that you're studying. And all of this is saved in the app. Most of the students use the app Notability, but there are others. Those the students have to pay for them. They're not that expensive. And um, the rest of this picture is you can see some of the students, they're in group work, and they've, they're doing a spider diagram. And you can see the one person near the front where they've taken a picture of the spider diagram. And I spoke to that student, and he said he would probably kind of scribble and add to it um, after class as he thought more about the problem they're trying to solve. So basically, you can see how um, students are working together um, in their group work. So this, uh, this next slide is just a little closer up. You can see how students uh, can scribble on there. You can see she's got her stylus. Um, you can see she's been handwriting on there. Um, a lot of students report that they like to draw uh, parts of the body, the anatomy, especially when they come out of the uh, dissection room. They cannot bring their iPads into the dissection room. The students all understand about that. Um, but what they do is when they come out, they will often, while it's fresh in their mind, they'll go ahead and sketch what they saw, label it up, label up the sketch. Um, and it's just a way of them kind of cementing in their mind what they have learned. I've discovered that a lot of medical students are fairly artistic and they find drawing quite important. Here's a picture of um, a lecture and it's probably not the very best uh, uh, image of what normally happens in a lecture because that teacher had just said to the students, you don't have to take notes on this. So they're not all, you know, some of them just have put the, the iPad away. But generally what they've been doing in, in lectures is the students are given the slides in advance um, saved as PDF. So just as I described with the workbooks, the students can download the PDF onto their um, iPads. And during the lecture, they are scribbling right onto the slides that the, um, you know, instructor is, is preaching away about. And um, this is a very helpful way for them to take notes and lectures. Here's another um, image of students using their iPads in group work. And this chappy in the front here looks like he's uh, searched a journal article. Uh, because, you know, in the group work, they have to research um, symptoms and try to, uh, you know, learn uh, diagnostic reasoning and research. And they are taught from the beginning um, the, a lot of input from the library as to how to search well, how to know which um, sources are um, trustworthy, um, what sources we have at the Lester Library that they can get online and, or they can go in person to the library. So um, hopefully they are learning the right kind of sources to be researching. And here's just a little bit uh, more information. You can see these two iPads in the front all the color bands there, that just shows how Notability allows you to organize by color uh, into different folders. And the way that the students have described to me how they take notes and, and uh, put their materials together, it's like 
they they make uh, a kind of a conglomerate of all the different sources, you know, lecture notes, um, work group, uh, group work notes. Um, they might take screenshots of ebooks or screenshots of other things they found on the internet, kind of bring it all together in Notability, organized into these folders. And it's a fairly sophisticated way of organizing your learning material. Here's another picture of mind mapping or spy, spider diagramming. You can see the iPad actually, there's an app there which does mind mapping. And so that student was replicating how the mind map that was evolving on the paper. And I spoke to that student and he said he would be sharing the, um, the mind map that he was creating on the app. He would be sharing that with the other students. You know that our students are organized into groups that they kind of stick together with for the first three years, I believe. And they replicate those groups on Facebook pretty much as soon as they meet each other um, in the first week. And um, they share documents, they share notes that way. And, um, you know, we, I guess, might prefer if they would create these groups in Blackboard, but they don't. They, they just do them kind of privately in Facebook. Well, at least they're sharing, they're collaborating online, and they come up with uh, their own ways of doing that. Here's a picture, it's a little bit tricky to see, but you can see uh, the word wheeze, wheezing. Um, and what was going on here, this just happened the other day in the Lester Royal in the lecture theater. Dr. Ron Shu was doing a lecture. He was telling the students um, about some ailments and then he asked the question, what is the major symptom that you would expect the patient to present with? And the students had an app by which they were typing in the answer. The answers then got kind of um, uh, blended together, analyzed into a word cloud just on the spot, on the fly. And Dr. Shu left this image on the screen while he continued to his lecture. And I could see that the students were changing their answers and resubmitting, and then the word cloud would adjust itself. So it was very responsive, and I thought this was a brilliant way for um, the instructor and students, you know, many students in a lecture, about two, 200, uh, to have really quality learning interaction with each other. Um, I would say better than raising your hand, um, because this, this is actually richer. Raising your hand tends to be a kind of a yes-no question sort of thing, and if you're asking the students for, for more response than that through hand raising, it takes a lot of time, students are shy. So this is a way that it kind of organizes it down and it gives a lot of information to the teacher to see where the students are at in their thinking and their learning. Now here's an image of um, a pretty innovative way that we've been giving formative assessment. Um, this is from the GI uh, uh, module this past term, and uh, Dr. Mark Hamilton had been making these formative exams, and in, in such a way that the students take them, he's he's arranged it so that the students take them in class, and the student immediately sees feedback on uh, on each question. So this was an SBA uh, exam, and you can see at the bottom where it says instructor's comments. That's you know, a little bit of information about why the answer is correct or depending on, on how it's set up or, you know, why you got it wrong, what you need to study. Well, the students gave him very high feedback for this. Um, of course, it took time for, for Mark to create these, um, but the work he did is not in vain because now these questions are saved up. They can be reused next year. The students can take the quizzes more than once. Um, you know, so through the term, they can kind of check back. Do they still understand? Did they re remember it from, you know, two months earlier? And they used this as a way of preparing for their final summatives. And this final slide here is an image of um, how we think uh, students may be using the iPads as they're entering into the clinical phase. You can see, now this is just using the Notability app that I mentioned at the beginning, a PDF annotator uh, app. You know, just with my finger, I was ticking off uh, points there, and then I signed it with my finger. If I had a stylus, 
uh, that signature might look a little better, uh, slightly better. And um, anyway, and, and then this can just be emailed uh, to, you know, someone who wants to collect, uh, see if, if signatures, if students have gotten skills signed off. Um, they can either uh, email the entire PDF out of Notability, or they could just take a screenshot of this and email back the, the, the image, the screenshot. Students know how to take screenshots using their iPads. It's just a, you press two, two buttons and you get a screenshot. So um, this, uh, it has not been firmly decided um, exactly how this is going to work, but in discussion with Adrian Stanley the, um, and the others, we, we think that we could be using the iPads uh, in this way heading into the clinical phase. So that's where we're at at the moment, and if you have any further questions, just email me, t.bird, B-I-R-D, like the thing that flies, t.bird at le.ac.uk. Thanks. Talk to you soon.